Hey guys, welcome back. We are talking about Fortnite, and this is my game review. Now, many people already know this game is going to be coming out free of charge, but not until 2018. And even then, they're saying February or March at the earliest. So it's a ways off, and if you didn't want to wait, then you already have the game purchased. Now, the official drop date is Tuesday, but if you pre-ordered the game, you had a four-day head start. And I'm basing my review on the past three days of gameplay. So let's get right into it a fun game you've got a map and as you of course you move across the map the map gets bigger more open considered open world in some senses you can't just walk from section to section of the map but you can transport and you've got a variety of characters that are at your disposal to help you get through the many missions and challenges that await and each of these characters comes with their own specific skill sets that'll make you a lethal warrior so the name of the game really says it all, Fortnite. That's what it's about, building forts and protecting different items. As you move throughout the game, you'll go through your tree, you'll upgrade your skills and become even more effective as you and your teammates go up against these monsters and zombies. So whether you decide to go it alone with your AI army or join some friends online for multiplayer, this game's got a lot of battle inside of it. Now, it's not just about the battling, it's also about building some forts, and we're going to talk more about that in just a minute. Now, the AI, you can build up your own defenders, your own squads, to help you in the battles against these monsters, and they're pretty effective. But one of the cool things about them is you can also send them out on expeditions to go get stuff for you. Now, this is an online game. This is a question that was asked to me. If you don't have internet, you cannot play this game, so make sure you have good internet for that. Now as the game goes on, you'll earn these llamas and you're basically going to hit them like pinatas and get some pretty cool loot that way. So let's take a look at some of the gameplay. Number one, you want to be able to build these forts and that's what you're going to be doing. You can customize them any way you want. During the missions, you're not going to go too crazy on it. Just enough to support whatever the mission is and make sure that the generator you're trying to protect is going to be strong enough to keep the waves of aliens off as they come after you. This is the part where having friends is going to make a big difference. AI is not bad, but it's just not the same thing, and it's nowhere near as much fun. Now, the gameplay itself is a little bit on the cartoon side, but it really doesn't affect the game in any way. It's still a blast to play. It's going to be a lot about the building, though. You're going to want to learn that quickly, and I'll tell you right up front, when we start talking about the drawbacks to this game, their instructions leave a lot to be desired. As you go through tutorials, you'll probably find yourself asking more questions at the end of the tutorial than you had going in. So you might want to rely on some YouTube videos to help you out because the tutorials really don't. But once you figure out how to do it, it gets pretty easy. In this case here, you can see that they're laying down some health generators because during the battle, you're probably going to need one. As these swarms of monsters and zombies are coming after you. It'll be about strategy, it'll be about skill set, and it'll be about complementing players with different types of characters as these matches go on. You'll want to get familiar with all of them. And as the battle rages on, you're going to have to keep on repairing your fort, otherwise your walls will come down and you'll be in trouble. That is unless you've got some really well-placed traps. And these things can deal out a lot of punishment to an unsuspecting zombie. Guys, I'll tell you right now, it's a lot of fun. It is. There are some things about it that draw it back, and most of that's in the instructions. You have to figure a lot of this game out on your own. But as time goes by, that'll be easier to do just through YouTube tutorials. That'll do a much better job. When it comes to a game review, I always rate it based on one thing first and foremost, and that's replay value. This has a pretty good replay value. Is it the best ever? No. Is it a game I'm going to be playing nonstop? No. But is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. I'll pick it up. I'll play it. I'll go back to it again. Is it worth $60? No, it's not worth $60. Wait for it to be free, at this point especially, 
if you haven't already purchased it. There's no advantage to purchasing it this time. If you didn't pre-order it, you're not going to get the pre-order bonuses. And as is the case with most free games, this one, even when it is free, it's still going to have a fee for a lot of the stuff you're going to want to unlock. So, might as well wait till it comes out for free and spend a lot less money unlocking the stuff that you want. Still in all, it's a fun game. I'm enjoying it. It took me a little while to get there. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 7.